So today we continue with uh, tutorial 19, if I'm not mistaken, let me just check, of our bootstrap and time leave uh, tutorial, so uh, tutorial 19, yes. So we are going to now set up the add modal dialog box, so that when a user clicks on a button, it displays a modal form to allow, the, uh, to allow us to enter some items and then click on save. The easiest way to do this is to, is to go to bootstrap website and look for an existing modal dialog box and then we steal that, that code and put in our page. So let's just go to bootstrap model, okay? So in bootstrap model, we are going to go down and look for a good one. Does this one work? No. Because we want a model that is going to give us form, uh, the text boxes to enter items. Let's try this. Oh no, it doesn't work. Uh, what of this one? No way. What of this one? Oh no. Uh, let's try this. Oh no. Uh, let's try this. Good, good. Yeah, let's use this one. So let's steal the code and paste in our website, in our, in our page. So let me copy this code. Let me copy it and then I'm going to come here. Uh, I'm going to just paste it, just the lower part before the last body tag. All right, so having copied it, I'm also going to copy the button that displays this form. So the button that displays this form is this one. So I'm going to copy it. I want this button to be just above the table. I'm going to go above the table and paste this button right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, instead of calling it example model, I'm going to call it add model, add model, right, okay. So now data target equal to add model means that the add model is the name of the form to display when you click on this button. Now the, this data whatever is not useful to us. Let's remove it. And then the text is going to be add new. All right, so now we have example model is the name, is the ID. Let's change it to add model. All right, so let's now change also this message. Instead of send message, we just call it um, save, okay? So that if after entering some items in the in the text fields or in the form, we just click and save. So the, the label of this form will be new student. All right, so let's just move this form tag because you can see this form slash form. Uh, it, uh, it's better you move it at the upper level. So let me cut it and paste it somewhere, somewhere here, okay? So at just the second uh, level, hmm. and the same goes for the, the closing tag of this form. So just cut it and paste it next to the last div tag, okay? Uh, okay, so, okay, I don't know why this thing is just wasting my time. Okay, so let's add some additional test fields to this form. The first thing I want to do is to just make some room here so that we see what we are doing. So now we have only two test fields and we need five. Uh, permit me to take out this one because it seems that the second one, we don't need the second one, we need this size of test fields. So. Let's go back. Uh, so I'm going to copy this and paste it four more times because we need four. Uh, okay, so how many do we have? We have four, so we need one last one. All right, so there we go. Uh, let me make some room so that we know what we are doing. So you can see now that we have one, two, three, four, five, right? Five items, and we are going to give them the, uh, rather a name that corresponds to what they are. So the first one is the ID. The second one should be the name, the name of the student. The third one should be the department of the student. The fourth one should be who updated it, updated by. And the last one will be updated on. 
again, we, are, we also need to change the name. Uh, maybe we can leave the name, no problem. But let's check if we are missing out something because we are following this procedure. Okay, modify the name and text in the add button. Modify the form and add test fields. Change the IDs of the test field. We've done that. Now time to test our application. So I'm going to launch it. Now we'll, we might receive an error that makes the form not to display. I'm going to tell you how to solve that problem. So it's going to start the server and uh, okay, so so Tomcat actually starts good. So if I go back to the student list and I refresh, okay, I already have it refreshed. So how I click it doesn't work. The problem is that you need to put jQuery has to come before Bootstrap uh, in the in the script uh, files. So move jQuery to before Bootstrap, and I'm going to save it, save, and I'm going to relaunch this application. So I'll always keep that in mind. Uh, in fact, I'm going to write it down jQuery before Bootstrap. So if you don't know this, it, it will actually give you so much problem. So it started and I'm going to refresh this page. And now if I click add, you can see the form displays. Okay, so you can see ID name department updated by updated on. So we've come this far and we are ready to move now into uh, lesson 20, complete and test the insert operation. We are going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember, subscribe to my website. And if you have challenges, let me know in the comment box below.